Oh, I love hockey, folks. I can't get enough of it, eh? And uh, I had to. I'm from Quebec. C'est la loi. It's the law. You gotta love hockey in Quebec, huh? You love it. You guys uh, heard of Quebec, right? <laughs> you know they speak French there, right? <laughs> Don't laugh. I didn't know when I was growing up. I'm uh, the sixth of eight kids, folks. I didn't even know there was Frenchies. I didn't know. Because we had our own hockey team. We didn't need to meet any French kids. You know? And then uh, the first day I met a French kid was at Pee Wee Hockey. We were out there playing Pee Wee Hockey, you know, skating around. <laughs> Then this little French kid on the bench is like, Hello! Can I savoir? Mon nom is Jean-Pierre Pipon. Moi, je me sais jouer. Est-ce que tu veux jouer avec moi? Love Quebec, folks. My uh, greatest all time Quebecer by far, huh? Guy Lafleur. Guy Lafleur. Uh, the flower has wilted a bit, I understand. He's doing commercials for Viagra now. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. And not good commercials either. He's sitting there alone in the locker room, all sad. But there's, there's Guy. He should have been out on the ice skating around for Viagra. Imagine. Shh, 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 shh. Hello. My name, she is Guy Lafleur. Hey, you know, erectile difficult. She's not funny, okay? Hey, hey, hey. Not that the flower has this problem. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, hey. Although my former teammate Steve shot him, he had a rectal difficult. <laughs> we love hockey. We're Canadians. But we're afraid. I'm afraid now because we have uh, teams that just can't keep up with the Americans, you know? It's not like the old days back in the 70s. Remember when the Montreal Canadiens would win every year? Remember those days? Oh, the best part of that was the Leafs sucked. <laughs> oh, I love that. And there was uh, one reason why the Leafs sucked. And the Habs were so good. Came down to two men, the rink announcers. They made all the difference in hockey, huh? Because when the Canadians scored a goal, oh, Claude Mouton would let you know. And you could hear it from the forum all the way down to McGill College, eh? Le but the Canadiens, Montreal Canadian goal is 33rd of the season. Okay, bad number this scored by the number 10s, Guy Lafleur. And the crowd went nuts. Oh, yeah! And we were at home with our tinfoil puck and our soup spoon sticks going, yeah! <laughs> Not in Toronto, eh? Paul Morris was the rink announcer in Toronto. Wasn't even worth scoring a goal in Toronto, was it? <laughs> Toronto Maple Leafs goal, scored by 27 Sittler. <laughs> Assisted by 21 Tom. Time of the goal, 14 minutes, 35. Okay. Oh my goodness. You see the guys at the bench, hey, screw it, Lanny, get your broom, let's go curling, eh? <laughs> Kids at home in Toronto with their soup spoons going, oh Jesus, this is horrible. Please welcome to the stage, Will Davis. <laughs> Quebec, eh? You weren't expecting a guy named Will Davis, were you, from Quebec? <laughs> expecting some guy named Jean-Guy, eh? Coming out here talking like Chrétien, smoking a cigarette with a Rennie Simard concert t-shirt on. That'd be... That'd be funny if I did come out here talking like Chrétien, wouldn't it? That would've been funny. Hmm? Ah, hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. Very good. <laughs> What's this guy's story? Daddy, he's weird, huh? You know, Chrétien is our leader. You know that, don't you? He, he represents us on occasion. And that dude speaks both official languages at the same time. But half the time he doesn't know what he's saying, I think. You know, you know, in Canada, it's very good to have an economy that is very... In the uh, kind of, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it would be funny, huh? Catching Chrétien, you know, going into his bedroom. Because every French guy sounded sexy before Jean Chrétien. <laughs> hmm? 
Imagine catching him going into his bedroom, you know, macking on his wife. Ah, hello, baby. How are you tonight? Very good. Very good. I'm very tired. I've been prime ministering all day. It's very hard. But you know, maybe I don't know. Qu'est-ce que pense? Voulez-vous coucher with Wiener? What do you think? I'm happy to say I live in uh, Vancouver now. Yeah, thank you very much. You ever been, man? Anyone know Vancouver? Let me rephrase that. Who smokes pot? Anyone? They love the pot there. And you know what I love about Vancouver is the uh, weather. I don't know if you know this, it never snows. Like, it, it'll snow one day a year. Not like the rest of Canada. Like, I was doing a show in Edmonton, and I checked into my motel. Because I'm in Canadian show business, right? A motel. Here's your key, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and I go up to my room to check it, you know, go into, and it's, of course, it opens onto the elements. And it was like minus, I don't know, 80,000 in Edmonton. And I try to open my door and it's frozen shut. And I go back downstairs and I say, hey, Ruble or Rupert, whatever your name is, I can't open my door. And he goes, oh, please wait here. And he goes to the back and he comes back with a blowtorch <laughs> and a big piece of wood on a chain like the key at the garage, you know? <laughs> Where do you think I'm going with your blowtorch, dummy? Huh? I'm in room 2B, you know where I'm staying, I'm not going to leave with your dumb blowtorch. The worst part, I get to the thing, I, I had the blowtorch the door warm to open it, right? There was burn marks on the inside of this door, man. <laughs> Someone's been frozen in! <laughs> so I don't need that, like, I love Vancouver for that reason alone, and it, it'll snow that one day, you can be sure of that. Oh, and that's when you bring a lunch, folks. <laughs> Sit down and watch those idiots try to deal with the snow. It's a pleasure. I went down into the lobby of my apartment building the day it snowed this year, and there was a group of them huddled together. And I go, oh my God. You think the Starbucks is open, man? Like, so what's wrong with you? It's just snow. Take it easy, huh? And then their leader pipes up and goes, it came from the mountains. Easy, Moses. Put down your scepter there. It's not locust, all right? God, it's just snow. And then you watch them get out on the snow. That's when you open your lunch and just watch them try to deal with it. They got no boots. They got no mittens or toques, huh? But they got high heels and umbrellas, these idiots. <laughs> and one dude got some in his eyes. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. Don't love me. Save yourself. Dumbasses. <laughs>